JJ Kinahan, Chief Market Strategist at TD Ameritrade. What's one thing you'll be watching in the markets for 2018? Well, I think the biggest thing we'll be watching is really January. And what I, why I say that, Scott, is as we end 2017, normally this is a time you see a lot of people rotating, et cetera. But as we have a tax bill on the plate, m much of this might get pushed to 2018 if people think they can lower their capital gains by doing so. So I think that the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, is going to be one of the most interesting times we've seen in a long time because... 2018, you may immediately start to see sector rotation that gets pushed from 2017. So we'll get to see who some of the winners and losers are uh, as the first month often sets the tone for the year. You know, the S&P 500 exceeded the forecast that many analysts issued at the end of 2016. Do you think the bull market continues in 2018? Well, you know, I, I don't think anybody had us going up this much. Let's be honest. Uh, this is the bull market. Nobody seems to care for, I think it will be very difficult for it to do so, to be quite honest with you. It's, it's had a, a, a incredible momentum, and as you look out in the horizon, a lot of the bullish uh, sort of things we saw in the market have come to fruition. Now, I'm not saying that means we have a huge sell-off, but I think 2018 could be kind of a back and forth year. We don't have that tax plan on the horizon. The, the reason I think that we can continue to do well, though, is what, what's the momentum you're seeing in earnings? Earnings have been fantastic. We're seeing growth in Europe. We're seeing growth in Asia. It tends to be human nature, however, to at some point start to put pressure on some of these stocks. So I think this could be, you know, this year we saw prices sort of lead what we expected in earnings a little bit. I think next year you can see earnings really start to catch up to prices in the stock market. Well, and you know, if we get some more back and forth in the market, I mean, that'll be good for those who have been sitting on the sideline because everyone this year was hoping for that 10% correction. Mm -hmm. We just never got it. We just never did. And, you know, even I think, uh, and what we have seen is if we get any kind of correction, the buy the dip folks have been there in mass, ready to buy in seconds. In, in seconds. <laughs> it really has been amazing. But again, I, I, I hearken that to uh, you know playing football or whatever. If you were running the ball right up the middle and it worked every play, don't stop running the ball up the middle until it finally stops. And I think you're starting to see sort of that for the last four or five years. The buy the dipsters, I'll call them that. I don't know if that's a I'll coin that. I like they, that. <laughs> they have been uh, they have been there to buy the market on every downturn. All right, JJ Kinahan, thanks for helping us navigate it. All right, Scott, thanks for having me.